Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be addressing the issue of the iPhone that has no sound or there's no sound coming through the speaker at all. So I've made two videos about this previously that have got millions of views. So this is going to be an updated version of those videos as there has actually been some new fixes and tips that you can actually try. So I'm going to get stuck straight into this video and the first tip that I always start off with is the most obvious one uh, but it is really surprising how many times um, people actually do forget about this including myself. So on the side of the iPhone um, device no matter which one you are using you'll see a little silent and loud switch here. So if you see a little orange slit that means it's on silent mode so pretty much all you want to do is just toggle it up and this will take it off silent mode as well. And after you do that, you just want to get the volume buttons and ensure it is turned all the way up as well. And as an addition to this step, you also want to go into settings and then you want to go down to sounds and haptics. So in here we have ringer and alerts. So if the change with buttons is turned off, the actual ringer sound um, is individual from the sound that you adjust with the volume buttons. So if I go ahead and put the volume up and go back to the home page. As you can see, my volume is on the maximum. But if I go back into the settings, the actual ringer and alert is kind of not that um, high up. So you just want to go ahead and put that all the way up. And then you also want to go ahead and change with buttons. So as soon as you adjust the volume of the buttons, it will also adjust the ringer volume as well. So that's just an extra step that you guys can try. And the next one that I do recommend is to go ahead and hard restart your iPhone device. So this is an awesome trick that I pretty much recommend to anyone with an iPhone who is having any issues whatsoever. Um, much like when you restart your computer, the same applies to an iPhone device. You just want to go ahead and restart it and remove any temporary glitches or bugs that may be causing your iPhone to have no sound um, at all. So if you have the iPhone 6 or later you can restart your device by pressing the home button and the lock button together for about 20 seconds until the device reboots. Uh, if you have the iPhone 7 you want to press the volume down and the lock button together for the same amount of time and if you have the iPhone 8 or above so this is the iPhone 8, um, 10 and 11 and any future models you can also restart your device by pressing volume up, volume down, and then holding on to the lock screen button until the um, device powers back up. So that's a really awesome step that I'd recommend and hopefully that will remove any temporary glitches on your iPhone. So the next step I recommend you to try is to actually go ahead and clean the charging port and the headphone jack on your iPhone as sometimes if this gets dirty or filled with lint or grime it can actually trick your iPhone into thinking that it has headphones plugged in and this will result in your iPhone having no sound as it will be kind of ghosting um, the music and the sound through the headphones. So to clean the port um, on your iPhone device you just want to go ahead and get a toothpick a toothbrush or kind of a cotton wool bud or a q-tip and also maybe a paper clip. So once you've got these tools you can just go ahead and thoroughly get into the charging port and just, and just remove any dirt or grime that may have built up over the time and you'll be surprised as to how much dirt actually builds up um, in these ports and the headphone jack especially if you have your iPhone in your pocket or your backpack a lot as a lot of lint can get up in there. So you just want to go ahead and dislodge any dirt and as an extra step you can also get a q-tip and just put maybe a bit of rubbing alcohol on there and you can also just kind of remove um, the material or the cotton on the q-tip just to make it a bit thinner and you just want to kind of squeeze it a bit more like this and then you can also go ahead in there and kind of remove any dirt as well and also if you have an older version of the iPhone you also want to go ahead and kind of remove any dirt that may be built up in the headphone jack as well and another indication to see if there's any dirt in there, you can go ahead and plug in your charging port. And if there's not like a secure click or a connection, if it's a bit wiggly, that means there's still some dirt built up in there. And you'll just have to get in there and just try and dig it out a bit more. And as you are playing with an electrical device, just be careful not to use any um, metal objects as well. 
So the next thing I recommend doing to try and get the sound back on your iPhone is to actually go ahead and reset the settings uh, within your device. So this is kind of an extra step of the restart. However, this will go ahead and reset any individual settings that you may have made that may be causing any temporary glitches or bugs. So you can easily reset your device by going into settings and then go into general. And then you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to get to reset. And then you want to go to reset all settings. And then you just want to put in your passcode to confirm those changes. And this will um, reset any personal settings you may have. So you just want to maybe write those down before you go ahead and reset them. And just as a side note, you will not lose any data or apps or photos with this step. And you also want to avoid pressing uh, erase all content and settings as it will pretty much uh, wipe your entire device and you will lose everything. So just ensure that you do press reset all settings. Okay, so the next step you can try, and this one does sound a bit strange, and this is to actually go ahead and press the left and bottom right hand corner of the um, iPhone. And this is mainly because we have the speaker grills here, and sometimes if you have dropped your phone, this can actually make the speaker connectors loose or disconnected. So pretty much what you want to do is firmly press for around 30 seconds to 1 minute, and you just want to try and reconnect the speakers on the iPhone. And this one again is quite strange but surprisingly um, this has actually worked for me in the past and this is also a really good method um, if you have the older versions of the iPhone such as the iPhone um, 4, 5 and 6 as well. Okay, so the next step that I recommend is to actually go ahead and get a pair of headphones that you may have live, lying around. And this is also going to work for the headphone jack and also the lightning port. And essentially what you want to do is just insert the headphones and then pull them out. And then you just want to repeat this motion for a couple of minutes as this is a kind of an extension of the previous step um, when the iPhone is thinking it's in headphone mode. So this is just an extension of that and this should hopefully um, get your sound back on your iPhone device. Okay guys, so moving on to the next step, and this one is also quite a bit strange, um, but if you live in a humid environment, or maybe you've dropped your iPhone into some liquid or water, then this is actually a really awesome fix. And this is mainly because if you have any uh, residue of water or moisture in your phone, it can actually muffle the speaker and it can actually get into the connectors and it can block a secure connection between the iPhone and the speaker. Um, so what you actually want to do is go ahead and get a hairdryer and then you just want to get the hairdryer on low heat and you just want to kind of um, blow at a quite a safe distance and you just want to do this for a couple of minutes around the speaker area and also the top of the microphone as well and you just again want to repeat this for a couple of moments and this is just going to work to evaporate any moisture that may have built up on the iPhone device and again this one does sound quite a bit strange um, but this one has surprisingly worked uh, quite well for many iPhone users out there. So moving on to the next step, which is kind of similar to the previous one, and that is if you have dropped your iPhone into any fluid, you again want to kind of go ahead and dry out the iPhone. Um, so another really awesome way to do this is just to actually go ahead, turn the iPhone off, remove your SIM card, and actually put your iPhone in a bag of rice um, for around 24 to 36 hours. And this will go ahead and remove all the moisture from your iPhone device. And this will hopefully uh, regain the sound and speaker back on your iPhone. So this is kind of like a last ditch resort that you can try after you've tried all these steps in this video. Um, if nothing else works, um, but this has been proven to work for many iPhone users out there. Okay guys, so moving on to the next step, and you want to go into settings, and once you're in here, you want to go to Bluetooth, and once you're in here, you just want to ensure that your iPhone is not connected to any uh, Bluetooth devices, as it may actually be playing um, the sound and the speaker through a Bluetooth device. So this could be things such as a Bluetooth speaker, AirPods, or even your um, car, which may have Bluetooth connectivity. So you just want to go ahead and disconnect any devices, or alternatively, you can actually go ahead and turn the Bluetooth off as well. And you can also go ahead and actually toggle the Bluetooth on and off. And this has also worked um, quite well for some iPhone users as well. So you just want to go ahead and maybe turn it off and on a few times. And then you want to go ahead and try and play some music and sound on your iPhone again.
Okay guys, so moving on to the very last step on this video, and this one's a bit old school, especially if you're used to use maybe a Sega Genesis or a Nintendo 64 or even a Game Boy. And essentially what you want to do is you want to go ahead and blow fiercely into the charging port or the headphone jack. And much like the older um, game consoles, this is done to remove any dust or build up that you may have missed in the first steps. So you just want to go ahead and blow in there and just remove any excess dust that may have stuck around. So there you have it guys, there's several tips on how you can regain the speaker sound and volume on your iPhone device. Um, I hope this video has worked for you. Um, if you've come up with your own solutions or fixes, please share them down below in the comment section as you'll be literally helping thousands of other iPhone users out there as well. So again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.